This year's International Manufacturing Technology Show is a display of strength for the manufacturing industry. More than 2,400 exhibitors, many demonstrating the latest in high-tech machinery. But this year's event takes place against a backdrop of various international tariffs and retaliatory tariffs that threaten to undermine some sectors of the industry. The, the closer we can get to the resolution, the better people understand their investment path. Uh, there are certain companies that have manufacturing off the United States shores, but that's because their customers might be off the United States shores. So there, there are a few folks that still will fill the tariffs. Uh, we do know that. Uh, we hope alongside with them that the reconciliation is clear and quick because no one can really plan in uncertainty. Large lines form at the Herco stand as visitors wait for a solid model of their head generated by a 3D scanner. The company has been around for 50 years and officials are keeping a close eye on the tariff dispute. You know, this uncertainty, it, uh, it definitely is, is something that uh, nobody in the market is going to want and we'd like to see that, you know, calm down a little bit and make sure that we have smooth sailing and, you know, consistent growth. This event attracts exhibitors from across the globe. And although many companies here are enjoying a successful year of trade, the concern over tariffs remain. Harry Moser was among those to deliver a keynote speech. He's the founder of the Reshoring Initiative, a nonprofit that aims to increase manufacturing jobs in the U.S. We believe there are 10 or 20 policies that are more effective than tariffs. The tariffs, especially the, like the steel and aluminum tariff, are especially unproductive because although they help the steel producers, they hurt the steel users. So we recommend a, a for absolutely essential a better skilled workforce. So a skilled workforce, something like Germany or Switzerland, uh, uh, a value-added tax like almost all the other countries have. Makes a 15% difference. Bam, we're competitive. Organizers of this event have enjoyed a record attendance. But if the tariffs remain in place, things could look a lot different when the next event is held in two years. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.